very historic event this weekend in France. Can you talk a little bit about your thoughts being the headline, being the headline at the end of the weekend? The feeling, the biggest feeling is just uh, happiness. It looks like a celebration. I like to say it's like uh, it's here at the end of the year, Christmas, New Year. Like uh, the feeling is exactly the same, so I'm really happy. Now. This has made me really happy to be here. And what does this mean for MMA in France in general? Obviously, it was only legalized, what, two years ago. What does this event mean for, for French MMA? It means a lot, a lot. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of people, a lot of fire winning. Really, this uh, from a few a few years like so today we are really happy to have the UFC in Paris and I think the UFC are happy to be here also. <laughs> and you took the time to to speak to the fans and take some pictures with the fans at the open workout yesterday. What's been the the reaction from the fans and the buzz surrounding this event this weekend? I didn't expect this kind of audience. Really, uh, this is a, it was a big surprise and I'm so happy to have this kind of fun. Really, I'm really happy and I can't wait for Saturday. And you're taking on Tai Tuivasa. What do you think of him as an opponent? He is really dangerous. Uh, and everybody knows this uh, and he proved it. He's on a good run. He finished every, uh, every opponent. He is really dangerous on his striking. So I must be focused. And he's coming off of five big finishes. But what do you think gives yourself the edge over him? The... Bah, bah. Bon gamin, bon gamin style, like the footwork, manage the distance, touch and navigate touch. That's it. How do you see the fight playing out on Saturday? I want to propose, I want to put more volume than so I want to stop the fight before the end because we will probably be really tired together both and uh, I'm looking at how I expected this kind of fight. And his last five wins haven't gone past the second round so what would you expect from him if it does go into the deeper rounds? Comment il va vouloir faire? Uh, we can expect from this guy uh, big pressure, like he likes to do uh, big pressure, land really more um, punches, like uh, he is really good on it, like a lot of people compare him with uh, Derek Lewis, but he's not exactly the same, he can land more punches, make more pressure, uh, more conditioning also, so that's why I say it's dangerous. And with the win on Saturday, where does that put you in the division? What are you expecting to be next for you? The next for me, well, at first, uh, Saturday. The Saturday, what's happening with <laughs> If after Saturday, if Saturday I win, uh, after that I'm looking for the belt. For the belt and uh, because everybody know it was really close with uh, Francis uh, on the last fight for the belt. So we're looking for the belt now. And if you get to run that back with Francis, what are the takeaways that you took from that last fight and how would you improve the second time around? Maturity. Maturity on the, you see, I win every fight I did. Uh, and uh, I was really on the flawless, like, not because it was easy, but you are on the flawless. The loss put you some question in your head and you must to, to have some answer. So this has put more maturity on your, on, uh, on your head. And last one for me, with John Jones expected to return at heavyweight, perhaps against Stipe Miocic, where do you think that fight, you know, gets put in the division and, and how do you see that unfolding? Oh, I think every every uh, every fighter in this division are happy to to have John Jones in the category in the, in the category because Jones is a uh, is a goat, is a real goat. So to have him uh, in the division, I imagine if tomorrow I'm fighting against him, probably uh, it's gonna be really crazy, really hype on on, on the fight. Uh, so more money, uh, everything.
this disc, you know, the sense of, I'm happy to have him uh, in, the, in the division. When you were starting your career fighting in Canada, how certain were you that this day would come, that both France would legalize MMA and that you would get the headline a card here? Au début de votre, de votre carrière au Canada, vous pensiez-vous que ce serait possible d'être ici euh, par rapport à, mmh. à la légalisation de l'MMA en France et tout ça qui s'est passé Non, nous n'avons pas expecté ça, bien sûr, ça fait vraiment sens. Et oui, la légalisation, il y a deux ans, deux ans et demi, deux ans et demi, maintenant l'UFC, avant l'UFC, nous avons déjà une ligue. League. Like uh, and now we can we can we can look some league uh, burn like Iris uh, uh, the event every month. So this is it. Uh, the, the the French fan, the people in France uh, to to have an education on the, what is the MMA. So now 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 you, you, you now we are a country of MMA for sure. Now uh, no question on the. Uh, no, it's too violent. Uh, no, no, no. This is a this is a past. Now we are a real country with a big fighter in MMA. I prove it. Francis uh, also and uh, Nasodi and uh, William Gomez today. We have a lot of good fighters in France. For you, does this fight week feel any different? Are you more excited? Are you more nervous? Is there any change from a normal fight week? This looked a little bit uh, like a normal fight week because we did some choice like uh, I cut it so with my family but I live just close to here about 10 minutes but uh, we did this choice like I'm gonna cut and like that it's gonna be like usually and um, now the big difference is uh, the jet lag. I'm so happy to <laughs> that's that would be more comfortable, really. No jet lag, I love it. The last one for me, would you have preferred to have the Nganu fight here? Would that have made it a little uh, more special? Ce serait plus spécial d'avoir eu le combat avec Nganu ici au lieu de... This is a good question. I think I don't have a good answer. Probably the fan... Uh, Yes, it would be crazy to have a fight with uh, with Francis and Gaibu and uh, more for for uh, for uh, for the bad, but you are also a good experience in LA. So no, I don't have a good answer for that. Thanks very much, Basil. Thierry, is it? Oh, my God, Basil. Premier event at Paris, main event against Chivasa. Is it that you feel some kind of little pressure? No, I just I just. Oui. Uh, this is the first main event, the first event here in Paris against Tuivasa. Um, uh, is, is it a no pressure? Um, do you feel any kind of pressure being the first event here? No, j'ai la chance. Bah, maintenant, vous connaissez un petit peu. J'ai uh, j'ai cette aptitude à pas être vraiment stressé par uh, quoi que ce soit. Uh, j'ai le bon stress de de l'avant combat pour pouvoir bien faire les choses. Pour être vraiment dans une extrême euh, concentration. Mais euh, non, ça m'apporte pas plus de stress que ça. Euh, c'est vrai que c'était beaucoup euh, la question qu'on se posait, parce que c'est toujours, euh, bah, c'est nouveau, donc euh, quand c'est nouveau, euh, on laisse place au doute. Et là, pour le coup, non, je ne sens pas plus de stress, pas du tout. Et, et au contraire, j'ai un feeling où je suis. Euh, ah non, non, non. <rire> <rire> mais euh, donc non, pas plus de pression, mais un sentiment que je sens différent en moi, c'est la joie, vraiment, et le... je suis vraiment content, genre je suis vraiment, comme j'ai dit tout à l'heure en anglais, j'ai l'impression d'être en fin d'année, tu sais, il y a une euphorie à l'intérieur de toi, tu sais pas trop ce que c'est, c'est juste que bah, c'est comme ça, tu vois, genre, t'es content d'être là et... Et ça fait plaisir, ça fait du bien.